What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Donnie. We back, baby. I told you I wasn't going anywhere, man. This is actually the very most important and, you know, fun side of the NBA season. I know we got eliminated. Deep in my heart, it still hurts me. But for a team like us, good things is coming. So, you know, now is the time to see what we can do. What can we do to improve? We kind of know what we're weak at. You know, center, the three, point guard, still an issue, you know. And what's the first thing that pops up on everybody's radar, right? Damian Lillard. Why? Because he's not happy. And who has the money? The Knicks. Who has the assets? The Knicks. Who has a team that's up and coming? The Knicks. So should we trade for him? No, we shouldn't trade for Damian Lillard. And I'm going to, honestly, trading for Damian Lillard would probably be one of the biggest mistakes. And I'm not talking, you know, because of his talent. I'm not, I'm not talking talent. I'm talking about the overall squad. So let's have this nice in-depth video here. And I still got to do a video, too, uh, about our season grade for all our, our players. And got to give the grades out for the year. You know what I mean? But we'll, we'll get to that another day. You know, just a quick look at our team. You know, we got Randall here, RJ. And these are the only ones really under contract. Randall, RJ, Frankie. Well, so we know that Frankie's in his last year. Let's not get crazy. Um, Julius Randall is to do a contract. RJ Barrett is still under contract. Um, really, it's looking like a really good situation here. Look at these all these one-year guys, two-year guys. That's all you really got. You, you don't really have a, a, a massive strain right now on their team, obviously. So my problem with Damian Lillard coming into the team is what do we give? If you want to get, you have to give. So now let's look at what we have. We have money, right? So we know we have money. Uh, over $100 million in cap space. But I'll get to that later. My, my biggest concern with Damian Lillard coming here is this. I'll show you. Look at the picks we have. In 2021, we have one, two, three first round draft picks. Second round picks, we have a potential one, two, three, four. You know what I'm saying? If you get Damian Lillard, I guarantee you we give up all these first-round draft picks. Plus, quickly, there's a scenario in my head where I can see all our first-round draft picks. Plus, quickly, plus OB, plus Kevin Knox, plus Frank Nilakina. We'll give you, we'll give you Damian Lillard. Now, do you do that? And you say to yourself, "Yo, Don, well, we get we get Dame out of it. That's not a bad deal." Now, okay, so then take away now, take away, take away Obi and, 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 and quickly. Now you're left pretty much with Randall and RJ. We know, as of right now, I feel like Julius, I'm sorry if you're watching this video, but you're more of a Robin right now to a, than a Batman. I think he can get better, but he's not there yet. He's, he's shown a lot of promise, of course. Most improved player for, for a reason. But... Now, what do you do? You have to get somebody else to come here now. And where do we go from here with our bench? You know, I think I think we have to learn from the other teams in the league who've tried this. You know, they've tried the, the big money moves and, and all that stuff. And I think what we need to do is we need to take a page out of the Toronto Raptors book. They had a couple of players that came together on that team, you know, that weren't do big money yet, but they were very good. You know, guys like Van Vliet, Siakam at the time, you know, Kyle Lowry had been there already. They had to give up the Ronda Rosen, though, you know, but they it, it allowed room for Kawhi Leonard to come there one year and win a championship. You know, I say you hold off because I don't think with Damian Lillard here, you don't have, what do you have? How do we? Honestly, compete. Because I feel like if you go for Damian Lillard, now you're going to compete, right? Are you really competing? I think the Knicks are better from a, 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 a actual, how can I say, more of a depth standpoint 
obviously not trading for him. I am not giving up three to four first round draft picks. No way. I'm not doing that for them. I honestly I wouldn't do that for anybody. To be honest. Maybe maybe for Giannis, you know, if somehow Giannis was available, I, I maybe for Giannis. I'm not doing that for a thirty one year old Daniel Lillard. I'm sorry. That it's not happening. It's it's just and, and the second scenario that they're talking about trading for Damian Lillard would be if you give away some of our first round draft picks and then maybe do something crazy, give away two first round draft picks for Randall, which is not happening, or a scenario where it's RJ, where it's RJ and um, RJ and quickly. Can you imagine? RJ, you're giving up RJ? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Trading for Damian Lillard means that you're left with nothing else. You can't even... So now what you would have to do is you would have to sign players, right, through free agency. And my problem with free agency is this. I got everything ready for you guys. If you look at the available free agents, Chris Paul, Kawhi Leonard, my, uh, Mike Conley, Kyle Lowry, DeMar DeRozan... Uh, list goes on and on and on and on. You can read them here. J.J. Reddick, Justice Winslow. What happened to Justice Winslow, by the way? I have no idea that he's on Memphis. Is he hurt or something? What, what happened with him? You know, out of this wrist, the only player that I could see us helping a championship, win a championship at that point is Kawhi Leonard. Are you going to mortgage everything to get Damian Lillard, right? And then pray, and pray, hope and pray Kawhi Leonard comes. But if, 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 if the scenario was there that Kawhi Leonard and Dame Lillard came here, you have a team now. Shit. Now you have a team. Now you have a team. But we don't have a bench. We have a starting lineup, but we just don't have a bench. We would have to build that. We would have to build that. And Kawhi and Dame would be just about the same age. Crazy that Kawhi Leonard is only 30. I say you don't do it. Guys, I say you don't do it. I don't Because Kawhi Leonard is the only player on this free agent list that would even make us a, a, that would make us a championship team. Now, let's go to 2022, maybe. Let's go to the next year. Let, let's update and see for 2022. Who's a free agent in 2022? John Wall? Oh, no. I don't want that. James Harden? Oh, he's played for Brooklyn. I don't know. Russell Westbrook? Uh, Kevin Durant? Mm, you know what? 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 That 2022 free agent class might be something worth looking at. I say we wait because of this. I say we wait. Wait. Don't trade for Damian Lillard. I didn't even I didn't even realize this. Wow, this looks like a really good free agent class actually. Oh my god. Oh, I say we wait. 100% wait. 100% wait. Don't even bother with Damian Lillard. You see this free agent class? Oh my god. Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Chris Paul, Bradley Beal, Kemba, Jimmy Butler. Kawhi, Kawhi Leonard is an unrestricted free agent. Okay, that year. Wow, Kyrie Irving, Gary Harris, Randall, of course, who we got to pay. Zach Levine, wait. Guys, I say we wait. I say we wait. I say we absolutely wait. That's what we have to do. Don't fall into the hype. Don't fall for the pressure. If you want to win a championship team, you need to have skill with youth. That's the only way you win. You're not just going to win a quick one. That's why the Toronto Raptors are, are not that far away from just being a regular team again that can compete. You know? They gave up a lot, but they still had talent that they had to sign. So now they got to figure it out with the talent, even though Siakam hasn't had the best of the year. But let me know what you thought of the comment section, man. I tried to break this down as best as possible. Looking at this free agent class, oh my, I would wait. We don't need now. We can do this all later. We can do this all next year. But of course, we got to make a decision on Julius Randle and see. You know, we got to make a decision on Julius Randle. We're going to have to pay him some money or risk letting him walk for free. But I don't think he wants to be out of New York. You know, I think he started this movement, serious movement in New York. And I think he wants to be a part of it. At 26 years old, I can't see him being let go. It'd be a bad decision. And that's one last point I will make on Julius Randle, by the way. Just because you have one bad playoff series doesn't diminish everything that he's done for the organization this past year. Stop giving him so much nonsense. Stop giving him nonsense. And I will make another video on this. Stop giving Julius Randle all this nonsense. It's one playoff series that he's had. Let him learn from it. Don't come out here trying to slander him, talking about trading him. 
That is not happening. That is ridiculous. That is dumb. I don't know why people will come out and say that. That is absolutely the worst decision you can make. You're never training Julius Randle. At 26 years old, no way you're training him. That's stupid. Why would you do that? But that would be another video. I might make that after this one. But there you go, guys. I went off a rant. Like, comment, subscribe, enjoy these videos. Let me know what you think in the comment section about Damian Lillard, man. I didn't even look at this free agent list, and that sold me. And Jimmy Butler's a free agent. Crazy player option. Oh, my God. Woo. Let your boy Don know what you think in the comment section. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time, man. Peace. I'm out.